And now it's time for the Sunoco Bus Series here at Charlotte. It's the CarQuest Auto Parts 300. We had the bush open, we had the bush all-stars. Now it's time to get back into the swing of things when it comes to points. This is stop number 14 of the Sunoco Bush series. And here's our point standings thus far. Currently, Adam Chambers leads. Danny Wells is in second. Chambers won at Fontana. Danny Wells won this season at Nashville. That's Ken Johnson, ZY's Dine, looking to triple as he won the Bush Open and the Bush All-Stars. He would like to complete the sweep here at Charlotte. And Ed Gardner, the Daytona 500 winner, rounds out the top five. Then it is Randy Carpenter, Spencer Madden, our winner of Bristol, Jared Darling, Emilio Navarrete, and rounding at the top ten, the only non-rookie, 6 through 10, Jeremy Doobie, the winner at South Boston. So that's your top ten in points. With that said, let's go into our starting grid here for the CarQuest Auto Parts 300. On the pole, qualifying at 184.546 miles per hour, is the number 29 Hardy's Pontiac of Super Shears, Dougie Shears. And on the outside will be the number 20 Crown Petroleum Olds of Emilio Napra. Ironically, these two actually polled at Fontana earlier this season. Second row going away spot number three will be the 04 US Bank Pontiac of Dunlap Red. And on the outside will be the number seven Hooters Ford of Randy Carpenter. Third row going away spot number five will be the double zero Olds of Dizanella Mominovich. And our Darlington winner in the 27 McDonald's Ford, it's Andrew Baranda. Fourth row going away spot number seven is going to be our most recent winner at Nazareth, the 17 tied Chevy, that's Cody Lamas. And on the outside will be the number 91 Coors Ford. That's Andrew Boat the third. Fourth row, fifth row, going away spot number nine will be the number 68 Country Time Pink Lemonade Ford. That is Spencer Madden. And alongside Spencer will be the winner. By the way, Spencer won at Bristol. And the winner at Rockingham, the number 77 Chevy. That is Mike McMurray. Sixth row will be the 47 of Justin Perry and the 44 of Bill Raymond. Seventh row will be the 34 of Joshua Perry and the 01 of Luke Martin. Following them in row number 8 will be the 52 of Ann Batson and the 69 of Zed Weinstein looking to continue sweep here at Charlotte. Then it is Hunter Gantz and Tim Gardner. Then it's Jordan the Hitman Hetzer and our points leader Adam Chambers. Then it is Austin M and Ricky James. Callum Wells our Talladega winner and Danny Wells our second in points. Jack Richards, winner at Las Vegas, and Jake Baskinger. Will Raymond and Morgan Carpenter. Jeremy Duby and Luke Martin. John Westbrook and Wick Ricky Elliott Jr. Barney Ward and Ed Gardner, Daytona 500 winner. Matt McCormick and Christina Counter, winner at Martinsville. Jared Darling and Alex Lasgano. Ken Johnson, Tim Fralick, and rounding out the field will be the 42 of Mike Becker. And the number 70, that is Dominic Jarvis. A pair of Pontiacs will tail the field. That's your starting grid here for 20 laps of racing here at Charlotte. It is the Card Quest Auto Parts 300. Who will get the good jump out of the races within races? That was the Bush All Stars and Bush Open. Can Zed Weinstein repeat, finish the sweep, or will another one get their first win? Or will we see a repeat winner? There's a few in the top. 10 that want that shot. Here's your command to start the engine. Drivers, start your engines. Is that okay? Yes, that is okay. Yeah, that was a little bit of a funny command. And Super Shirts and Emilio Navarrete will lead the field. These two actually were the front row at Fontana. Did not bode well for either of them as they wrecked out. I know they don't want this to happen again. Dunn Lamprad, who's winless this season. Randy Carpenter right now. Sixth in the points. He's now Mominovich right there as well. It'd be interesting. Okay, 
Chase car about to drop off at turn four. Said in this pack of Sunoco Bush Racers, off to, for 20 laps. We got a Pontiac, an Olds, a Pontiac, a Ford, an Olds, a Ford, a Chevy, a Ford. And afford a Chevy, your top 10. Then it'll be two olds as a Buick and a Ford as it's going to be Dougie Shears with the help of Dunlap that's going to take the number one spot. That inside lane will make a difference for the time being. Super Shears, early on. Now the field will split again. He's now Mominovich will lead the pack of the inside with Cody Lamas helping, but that'll actually give wide open room for Super Shears, Dougie Shears. Three wide right behind as Dunlap Rad will just hold off Dizanel Mominovic and Cody Lamas, our winner at Nazareth, now starting to dive in. And we got trouble! Dunlap Rad is in the wall. And we're not done wrecking. Oh, actually, that was a close call there. Lyndon Wright slaps the wall hard. As Dougie Shears will win the race back to the line, Cody Lamas will be second, Spencer Mann will be third, Dizanel Mominovich will probably be fourth, and Randy Carpenter will round out the top five. As we are under yellow, Andrew Boat the third was involved in that one. You got Luke Martin, Randy, and Ricky Elliott, Ricky Elliott Jr. You saw Morgan Carpenter involved there. That was ugly. And literally, funny that Ricky Elliott back underway. Let's have a look at what transpired that time. So here we go. We're watching things going on. As Cody Lamas goes the inside of Dizanel Mominovich and Dun Lapred. You see the gap close up considerably. And Dizanel Mominovich sends Dun Lapred into the wall. Same with Emilio Navra. Andrew Boat, the third, nowhere to go. Gets pushed down into ongoing traffic courtesy of Emilio Navra. You saw Tim Gardner getting involved. Jeremy Doobie. Jake Baskinger. John Westbrook. We have the big one. Here, Alex Lascano, Mike Becker, Morgan Carpenter, Ricky James, Luke Martin. Look like Tim Fraler got something in that. Tim Gardner has continued to have his woes. Same can be said with Alex Lascano, who had a good strong showing in the Bush Open, got himself in the Bush All-Stars. So Lex will actually watch things again from another angle. See everything looking good here, and then... You see, that's what happened. Navrit sends Lapra into the wall, and then Lapra... Navrit pushes Andrew Boat right into everybody. Yep, Adam Chambers got by easy. Lucky for Adam. Barney Ward was checking up. Same with Ed Gardner. Jared Darling. The whole inside lane. A lot of cars checking up. You saw Dominic Jarvis checking up. Tim Fralick. Mike Becker was not fortunate. It looked like, yep, Christina Cowan was checking up considerably. Doobie was getting squeezed like a pimple courtesy of Ricky James. I don't even know where I want to start watching everything. I guess I'll start with... Hmm. Yep, and then Laprad hits. And then to add on to it, Mike Becker got put into the wall by John Westbrook. I don't know what was that all about. Alice Lascano gets through, Emilio Navarrete, Laprad. This was ugly. And the reason why we said Ricky James was stopped there was because he, well, he was just sitting there trying to hope for room. He did get that, though. So, with that said, now we're still under yellow. Super Shears, Dougie Shears leads. He's been our pole sitter. He so far has been consistent. 
Second is Cody Lamas, our winner at Na Nazareth. Third is Spencer Madden, our winner at Bristol. Fourth is Ethan Elmovidovich, another nine winner. Randy Carpenter rounds out the top five. Then Justin Perry, followed by Joshua Perry, Andrew Baranda, Will Ra Bill Raymond, and rounding out the top ten is Ann Batson. Interestingly enough, this race, whoever wins here, gets an automatic bid into the next year's season's Bush All-Stars. Then Hunter Gantz, Jordan Hetzer, Callum Wales, Jack Richards, Zed Weinstein, our winner in the Bush All-Stars right now. 15th, Danny Wells, Adam Chambers, Mike McMurray, Austin M. Lyndon Wright, Barney Ward, Ed Gardner, Jared Darling, Ken Johnson, Mike, Matt McCormick, Will Raymond, Dominic Jarvis, Tim Fraley, Christina Cowan, and Ricky James. Then it is Alex Lascano, Mike Becker, Andrew Boat the third, and Ricky Elliott Jr. Then our one lap downers, which you can see on the inside, Emilio Navarrete, Jake Bassinger, Dunlap Red, Luke Martin, and Morgan Carpenter. Morgan and Luke are two laps down, and our current DNFs are that of John Westbrook, Tim Gardner, and Jeremy Duby. So Jeremy's going to lose his top 10 in points spot with that DNF. So funny that our front row is now going to lead us into the green flag again, but this time Navrit's one lap down. He would like to get that lap back, and Dougie Shears. Same you could say with Jake Baskinger and Don Laprat. They're both, all three of them are one lap down. They would like to get advantage of it, and it's not going to happen, though. Dougie Shears had a great jump on things. Good three-tenths of a second on Cody Lamas. Then it is Spencer Madden, Dizanel Mominovich, and Randy Carpenter. Now Lamas and Dizanel are going to take moves on the inside. Madden, Shears... Tried to block the inside lane, not enough. Here comes now just Justin Perry in his Oldsmobile. The Kanawha Insurance entry is Cody Lamas will lead that lap. Now Andrew Barand is going to dive into it. He was our winner at... Whoa, that was a close save there. We almost thought we were going to see Deja Vu all over again with Cody Lamas and Dougie Shears, but not enough. Fortunately, that would not be the case. Now a pair of holes is getting pushed by... The Ford of Buick and Ellis. As now Perry with Baranda and Joshua, Joshua Perry with the Buick. Now pushing as Cody Lama sleeps on the lap. We are not at the halfway point yet. We're about 12 lap we're about two laps shy of the halfway point as Cody Lama leads. Now Baranda's gonna move to the inside of Perry. Perry closed the gap, not enough. Now, time speaking, the other Perry, Baranda's about to get squeezed up, not really. I thought that Joshua Perry's going to be inside of Andrew and really split him down the middle, but not going to be the case. He's going to bide his time. Here comes the pair of fours in, Batson and Randy Carpenter. Dougie Shear's still on the high side, and it's still Cody Lamas leading. Now, here comes Bill Raymond making a move to the inside, and his Penrose snaps Olds going to the inside. Checks up now. He's gonna dive in. Baranda now closing in right on the bumper of Cody Lamas. Watch on the rear view. You can see that golden arch is right on his back bumper. On board with Cody Lamas. Say goodbye to the Golden Arches, because here he goes to the number one spot. Andrew Baranda will actually not get the number one spot there. That margin of victory is probably tight as it can get. The margin at the stripe, excuse me. Nine laps to go, by the way. Here comes Ann Batson. She's looking to get her first win since the Darlington race last season. How about Cody Lama swapping lanes going from right behind Baranda, and he's going to go right back to take the lead. So Andrew's not even going to lead a lap. Cody's going to take that one. Here comes Ann Batson now with the help of Dougie Shears and Spencer Madden. So now Cody Lamas back to the lead just as fast as he lost the lead, he regained it.
but don't count out that golden archer number 27. Here comes the Napa 22, 52, that is Ann Bass, and she driving the car that was driven by Keith Bass in last season to a number two finish in the points as we are under yellow yet again. As Cody Lamas will lead the race back to the line. What was the reason? Adam Chambers, our pools, points leader. Christina Cowan involved as well. Not what you wanted to have happen. Unbelievable. Chambers trying to see if he can get back into the swing of things as he goes down the return road. I mean, he's going to try to pit it. He's going to do just that. I think Jared Darling was involved there, too. We're going to take a look at that in our replay just momentarily. Let's see if Chambers. Danny Wells as well looked like he was involved. Callum Wales looked like he was involved. Let's take a look at it in replay. I think we saw we saw Danny Wells and Jared Darling. This is probably the reasoning. As you see Tim Fralick on the inside. You see, it looked like Mike McMurray right now holding up in the Canova construction Chevy. And that's what happened. Ken Johnson got into Jared Darling, put Jared and Danny both into the wall. So as much as Adam Chambers had his problems, he looks at it as the good news is that he doesn't have to worry about Danny Wells because Danny Wells is basically done. It looked like he basically destroyed it. But that was where it started. Now it actually got worse. Dominic Jarvis got into it. Andrew Boat, the third yet again. Hunter Gantz got into it. Ed Gardner. Christina Cowan. That's what happened to Christina Cowan. Wow. Jared Darling got put up on his nose and on his roof courtesy of Callum Wales. Hunter Gantz got into that. Austin M. Looked like Zed Weinstein, our winner. And then you have Emilio Navarro just scraping by. Adam Chambers got involved. Let's see what happened from another angle. That was scary. Maybe you can see that both Gantz and Boat were checking up considerably. Ed Gardner, Zed Weinstein, he got a little bit. Chambers got a little bit. M. Ricky James. Now here's where Callum Wales, right into the rear. I think that deserves to be on board with. Blinded by smoke. That was scary. Now we'll be back to green flag racing this time by. It'll be three laps to go as it is still Cody Lamas leading. Andrew Baranda second. Ann Batson third. Dougie Shears fourth. Spencer Madden fifth. Dizanel Mominovich sixth. Justin Perry, Bill Raymond, Joshua Perry, and Jordan Hetzer. Then it's Randy Carpenter. Jack Richards, Barney Ward, Matt McCormick, Mike McMurray, Kim Fralick, Ken Johnson, Will Raymond, Jordan, J Al Soscano, Dominic Jarvis, Lyndon Wright, Mike Becker, Ricky Elliott Jr., Ed Gardner, and Zed Weinstein. Then your one lap stand will be Emilio Navarrett, Don Labrad, Jake Baskinger, and Adam Chambers, Morgan Carpenter, 
is two laps down, as well as Luke Martin, your DNFs, will be Ricky James, Austin M, Hunter Gantz, Andrew Boat the third, Jared Darling, Danny Wells, Christina Cowan, Callum Wales, John Westbrook, Tim Gardner, and Jeremy Doobie. So there's three laps to go. Can Andrew Baranda or Cody Lamas get that second win for the season? Or will it be going to Ann Batson or Dougie Shears or even Dizanel Mominovich on others? Let's see what happens. Dougie's going right to the inside of Ann Batson. Not playing around. Same to be said about Dizanel Mominovich. Shears goes right to the number three spot. Baranda right behind. Lamas. Now Baranda's going to make a move yet again. He has not claimed the lap yet. The pole sitter right there. Super Shears starting to make a move. And Baranda's going to take the number one spot and will lead a lap with two laps to go. But will it be enough? Because here comes Dizanella Mominovich and Dougie Shears in a one-two punch. Dizanella did not has was an alternate last season. Now with that, she automatically got into the season two. Now Dizanella and Dougie are going to dive to the inside three wide going into turn three and four to the white flag this time by. One lap to go. And that lap will be led by Dougie Shears. But here it is. This is the lap that's going to count. Here comes Justin Perry now. Bill Raymond, Spencer Madden looking for win number two. Mominovich now has the number one spot. You've got three Oldsmobiles going at it tooth and nail. Here comes Cody Lamas yet again. Dizanella up on the high side, but that may be cost worthy as here comes now Justin Perry with the help of Bill Raymond, and he's going to take it. Justin Perry's going to win the CarQuest Auto Parts 300. Second spot will go to Bill Raymond. Dizanella Mominovich will be third. Spencer Madden fourth. Cody Lamas fifth. Dougie Shears, 6th, Andrew Baranda, 7th, Randy Carpenter, 9th, Jack Richards, 10th, and Ann Batson will round out the top 10. Excuse me, Richards is 9th, Batson 10th. Then it's Matt McCormick, Barney Ward, Mike McMurray, Tim Fralick, Ken Johnson, Jordan Hetzer, Alex Lascano, Will Raymond, Dominic Jarvis, Lyndon Wright. Then it is Ricky James, Ricky, Ricky Elliott Jr., Ed Gardner, Mike Becker, Matt, uh, Joshua Perry, Jake Bass, no, I said Weinstein, our winner at the Winston, I mean at the Bush All-Stars, he finished at 25th, Emilio Navarrete, Dunn Laprat, Adam Chambers, Jake Baskinger one lap down, then Morgan Carpenter and Luke Martin two laps down, and your DNFs will be Ricky James, Austin M, Hunter Gantz, Andrew Boat the third, Jared Darling, Danny Wells, Christina Count, Callum Wales, John Westbrook, Tim Gardner, and Jeremy Doobie. So we continue with our different winners, as now the Kanawha Insurance Olds of Justin Perry can be added to that list. If he knows one out in that white flag lap, try to take it from Dizanel Mominovich. One, two, three, Olds. How apropos. And in the points, Adam Chambers dodged a bullet courtesy of Danny Wells. But he's got a new bullet to deal with, and that's Spencer Madden with that top five finish puts her in number two. Danny Wells drops the three. Randy Carpenter now stays and goes up to number four. Ken Johnson drops the fifth. Ed Gardner will drop the sixth. Zed Weinstein will move up to seventh. It will drop the seventh, excuse me. Bill Raymond with that second place finish will go up to eighth. Jared Darling will drop tonight. Tim Fralick will just get back into the top ten as well. Then Cody Lamas, Emilio Navarrete, Jack Richards, Ann Batson, Hunter Gantz, Matt McCormick, Jeremy Doobie, Lyndon Wright, Dizanel Mominovich, and Dougie Shears. Then Andrew Baranda and Mike Becker, Dominic Jarvis, Justin Perry with that win gets him up to 24th. It also gets him a bid in next season's Winston. You can be push all-stars. Andrew Boat the third, Dunlap Red, Will Raymond... Mike McMurray, Just Joshua Perry, Ricky James, Barney Ward, Luke Martin, Callum Wales, Christina Cowan, John Westbrook, Morgan Carpenter, Ricky Elliott Jr., Jake Baskinger, Jordan Hetzer, 
Austin M., Alex Moscano, and Tim Gardner. So that's your points before our next race. We'll be back to some good racing at the 5 Energy 200 at Dover. That's coming up.